Hello, Randy Rain here, and it's been a minute since I've done a Tomy Flipbot. Gotta do it. This is Randy Robot Garage. So there's really not a lot to a Flipbot, and it's not that exciting, but I got this for such a good price, I couldn't pass it up. So let's get started. So what we have here is a Singapore version of the Tomy Flipbot. Now I already have my Flipbot. Mine's made in Japan. I also have a different version of the Flipbot, also made in Japan. And then the 2000 version, which is made in China. But I've never even put batteries in this to see if it even works. All right, nothing. So maybe I get to do this. Let's see. It's all about being the Fonz. You got to think Arthur Fonzarelli. Uh... I go right here. No. Try here. Ah, uh, that's no. Oh, there it goes. There you go. That's how you fix a flip bot. That was. Now, so what happens is the motors get gummed up or oxidized and they're just not making good connection on the brushes on the computator. So if you could just get it to go just a hair, it'll make the motor move a little bit, which will make it clean it up a little bit, make it move more and so forth. I gotta admit, I, I do love when that happens, especially when I get it on camera. I'm gonna be cleaning all this up. This can all come out. I think I might have to get rid of the G1 sticker because I'm just going to give this some washing in a soapy bath. I don't think that does a whole lot besides keep the head on. It's all rusty. Get rid of red. This has all been melted. Not really getting in there. This is weird. This one's definitely gone. Yeah, that wouldn't have turned much longer. Eventually it'll just start spinning. What's this thing? The first up of the crack gears is this one. There's this gear that I have, but there's two problems. One, 
it's an idle care and I can't use that. Also, this is a 10 tooth here and that's a 9 tooth. So I get to make it because I have this one. That's right. I better trim here. And then I have a nine tooth here, but it's a little long. Yeah, these are the motors that are really hard to get into. So, I'm not even going to try. I'm just taking three-in-one oil. I've tried so many different things. Everybody says, do this, try that, this. I think three-in-one oil is as good as anything. Here's a tin tooth. It can go on there. Okay, I've got it cleaned up. Let's see if I can remember how this all goes. Had some weird little metal piece. Went like that. Uh, keep it from rusting so bad. So the motor turns that one. Then it had this crazy thing. That. how that went. Yeah, so the motor turns that big gear. And that big gear has a worn drive, which turns this one, which turns these here, which turn the wheels. This one has this one, which turns this crown gear, which comes up here turns this crown gear, which in turn turns the arms. On the arms, there's this little lever right here. And as it comes around, it moves this thing right here. It goes back to here. These wheels on in there. This came get tucked in there. Spring. G. 
sticker pretty much survived. So there it is, the Tomy Flipbot, and there was more wrong with it than I thought. There was actually two gears that were cracked. Anyway, it's all working. It's not that complicated of a machine, really. Basically, you have gears reducing the motor down. It also runs it through a worm drive to increase the torque and slow it down. And basically, it ends up just turning the wheels and turning the arms. And as the arms come around, it pushes up this little black nub right here. And that becomes a pivot point. It takes one of the wheels off the ground and the other wheel turns it in a circle. And so that's how it turns left. But it's all cleaned up and it's working. So you ready to see it? It was always a hard one to turn on. So the complete breakdown of the Tomy Flipbot. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate a big thumbs up. If you want to see more, of course, hit the subscribe button. I want to thank these people here. These are the patrons. These are the people bringing you how the Flipbot works and how to repair it and everything. So I thank these people oh so very much. I couldn't do any of this stuff without them. And if you'd like to become a patron, of course, there's perks and all that stuff. Check out the link below. Anyway, Flipbot. That was... Randy Robot Garage!